Elementor not working with WooCommerce? Here's one thing to try. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehost.com where I talk about the tools that I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. And in this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I keep finding. So if this is useful to you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this quick video, I'm going to give you a tip that may just help you out if you're using WooCommerce and you're finding that Elementor isn't working. Usually what happens to a lot of people is that when they install WooCommerce, Elementor for some reason stops working. So I'm going to give you a quick fix that works for a lot of people. Hopefully it will work for you. So here we are on my test website and all you're going to do is go to the dashboard on your website, go to Elementor and settings. Once you're here, click on the advanced tab and then make sure that the switch editor loaded method is enabled. Save changes and go ahead and test whether Elementor is now working alongside WooCommerce. Remember to clear your cache if you're using a cache plugin. In fact, I recommend that you disable your cache plugin if you're developing or working on your website and try a different browser like Firefox if you happen to work on Chrome and just to make sure that you're bypassing any caching errors and that way you can see whether Elementor is now working with your WooCommerce installation. If this doesn't solve the issue, then click the video on your screen where I talk about three other options that you could look at. So click it and I'll see you there.